So, um, good afternoon. And now we've got Rima pogoing. Maybe it's a, a feature of this sim. Lots of pogoing. We've got a, sh a floating shiny and a pogoing Rima. And um, Rima, if I can make a suggestion, sit. Find somewhere to sit. <laughs> okay. I don't know what's okay, going on today. Thank you. It's coming. <laughs> <Gentle> <laughs> suggestion. <laughs> Just a suggestion. I'm not going to make you do it. I can't make you do it, but I would suggest you sit. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. <laughs> I listened to you. <laughs> <laughs> we were about to go. Shiny was drifting off down the valley here. So now there's a clue. April, any ideas what we're doing here? Why are we here? It's an expedition. I don't know. For a picnic. Yeah. Well, maybe for a picnic. Oh, hang on. I've got a strange thing turning up here. Uh, maybe for a picnic. Yeah. Um, Traum, you were looking around you. You said we're at the end of a road. An expedition also. And we're going to be. tell stories. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Yes, Traum, carry on. Oh, really? We can see an ocean. So we are uh, sur uh, surrounded by water. Are we? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> okay, imagine you're a person and you can only see what's directly in your line of sight. I know you can cam up and round, but imagine, yeah, imagine we are on an expedition and here we are in at our campsite. Um, yeah, we're surrounded by mountains, aren't we? That's very true. How oh, maybe this is. Oh. Yeah, carry on. No, carry on, Rima. But I can't see any rivers and streams. Maybe about the last vocabulary challenge. Yeah, well done. Released. You're so clever. <laughs> 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 okay, good stuff. Yeah, it, the the vocabulary challenge, um, not from this week, of course, from last week. Uh, was about landscape. yeah landscapes and and I thought well it would be okay to do it on Skype or in a webinar with pictures but I thought I'm sure I must have something more interesting in my Sims <laughs> so I went hunting and did a bit of uh, building uh, et voila here we are in yeah what I'd call quite a rich landscape quite varied okay april said uh april what what were you having a problem with with the um, van, with the I, landscape I, challenge yeah? yeah i wrote peak and you wrote summit i wrote summit and you wrote <laughs> peak what are the difference and then canyon and the ridge and the gorge and the comb of something like that what are the difference between those all uh, names actually well that's the difference they're different names <laughs> but you're right it's really complicated i mean um often as english learners you learn the vocabulary that you're presented with and then you learn other vocabulary as and when you need it. And you don't, I'll be honest, I'll put my hand on my heart and say, most of you won't need the very specialist vocabulary to do with landscapes unless you kind of get involved in any kind of um, sport that involves it maybe or hobbies or traveling. And then suddenly it's landscape it's um landscape vocabulary that you suddenly need because you want to ask the way to a particular place or you want to ask the way to um an area or you want to do something particular you know you actually want to do something in particular you want to go climbing um even the skiing 
things that we did uh, in winter when we were doing our winter vocabulary. There's a lot of that kind of vocabulary crops up because of the different areas you can go skiing and skating and everything else. So it, this is vocabulary you might never need. <laughs> but then one day it might save your life. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm exaggerating answer, a little bit. We will get less. Uh, I will get less because if uh, on the on the uh, travel information they they wrote, for example, peak, and I will go to the sun. Yeah. So I will get less. <laughs> now there there are subtleties. Um, I thought what we could do with is we'd start with the second picture, if you can kind of remember that, uh, which were the numbers four, five, six and seven. Now, if you didn't take part in the challenge, I can give you the link here. It's vocabulary challenge 58. Oh, hang on a second. Um, let me just close down the extra conversations here because otherwise I'm going to be posting in the wrong bit. Exactly. Traum, summit, peak, gorge. Um, now, I hope you know the difference between um, summit and peak and gorge. You wouldn't climb up to the gorge, would you? Yeah. Um, so let, let's do a geography lesson then. <laughs> I'm not a geography teacher, remember, but we're sitting here at our ca in our campsite with our bonfire. It's a bit remote, but there is a road, so we know we're somewhere. Um, we've reached the end of the road, so to speak. Now, what what does it mean if I say to you, we've reached the end of the road? <laughs> Dead and buried. <laughs> kind of. I mean, it can, <laughs> it can be literal, as in we have reached the end of the road. There's the end of the road just there. So in that context, this is literal. But sometimes it can be idiomatic. Um, oh, by the way, I think Kind is going to start doing some um, some sessions in Skype on idioms. So keep an eye open on the on the. Uh, forum and in the calendar but anyhow so to reach the end of the road can be literally i've reached the end of the road or it can mean we've reached the end you know this is it everything's finished <laughs> okay but in this case i mean it literally we are we're at the end of the road okay um what would you describe this area okay we're in the mountains so the mountains are to either side of us and you can tell they are mountains they're pretty high okay but um or you won't uh, call it a valley a valley why not um well, why not? <laughs> okay, yeah. so Traum, type up valley. If you type valley, let's do a bit of spelling. Okay, has anybody got any other suggestions? Forest. Forest, yes, okay, but type not it up. Very dense. Mm, mm. Type it up, type it up. Type up the words you would use if you were sending an SOS <laughs> for somebody to come and rescue you. Tal, no, that's uh, German Traum. We don't use the word Tal. I know what you mean, but only because I have um, learnt German. Fortified. Oh, tough guy. Fortified. What's fortified about it? Tough guy. Can you take the mic, tough guy? Yes, uh, we are surrounded by uh, mountains, right? So uh, you can say that uh, it's a uh, uh, secure area. Nobody can attack us here easily. Oh, <laughs> that's or, a funny uh, way of looking at the world. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, lo- I love it. I love it. Okay, there, there's something about fortified. Um, it, it generally means somebody's built something. Uh, it's built build something to strengthen it you fortify an area you build something to protect yourself okay fortifications if you like okay so by saying fortify um fortified it's more of a a verb and this is a well protected area except it's not to be honest if i was looking for somewhere to um defend myself i wouldn't be here honestly i wouldn't we're too exposed here guys <laughs> hey we could we could do a role play on uh, <laughs> attacking each other we're split into two teams start fortifying <laughs> okay so in that context i wouldn't use the word fortified um you can have well protected maybe um you could have oh uh yeah how would i how would i i wouldn't call this place well protected i'll i'll just i'll tell you why in a minute um but if we were to fortify it we could use the rocks around us we could use some of these logs we could build a fort basically and that would be more fortified building fortifications um april's put mountainous yeah the area is now uh, let me just correct your uh, your spelling. Mountainous, okay, from mountain, okay. So we're in a mountainous area, but we're not up a mountain, are we? So. No. Um, how would how could we okay Rima's just put not very I think you mean dense forest not dense it not a very dense yeah, forest yeah. it's not a forest guys okay I would not call this area forested at all maybe it was once but the trees here it's very sparse the vegetation is quite sparse so I wouldn't call it a forest Okay, slightly lightly what wooded, about, maybe. <laughs> wood. Yeah, what about wood? Not enough trees even for a wood. There are some trees here. That's all you can say. There are some trees in the area. But it's not a forest and it's not a wood. Um, you might say this little area where we're sitting could be a copse because we've got trees around us. Okay, a copse, not like cops and robbers. Cops. Not a prairie. Why not a prairie? Why won't I let you have the word prairie? I'm being mean, aren't I? But uh, I prefer you to come up with the vocabulary you know, and then we can discuss it. So why couldn't this bre- really be a prairie? Uh, prairie is not in the mountainous area? Oh, is it uh, possible? Um, Not really, no, because of the nature of a prairie. I mean, you might have a prairie with mountains in the distance, okay? But it's large, large open open area. Yes, Rima, that's it. It's far too... I mean, this isn't... It's an open area, but it's a small open area, okay? A large, I mean, I'd expect a prairie to go on for miles and miles and miles, April, flat and um, preferably covered in grass and wildlife, not farmland, <laughs> like a wilderness. Yeah, no humans. <laughs> hills and rocks. Yep, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's mountainous, but we've also got hills, lots of rocks. Um, I'd say the... The, the area to our left is hilly and then a bit further on it's mountainous you can see the peaks of the mountains and to the right of me it's mountainous so we've got a different um, landscape around us hills and mountains so that's very good and rocky it's very rocky here 
there are lots of boulders and rocks around. Okay, any other? Uh, I have mm -hmm. a question. Yes. Uh, in um, a no man's land, would that be too too small, or or uh, what? Um, have an, a no man's land to have to be called a no man's land? If this was to be called no man's land, we'd have to be at war. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. okay <laughs> it is. It is a more militaristic term. Okay. It's that it's disputed ground it between I two. If we if we split into two teams and you lot went down one end of the valley here and I stayed up this end of the valley with my team, then the bit between that we were fighting over would be no man's land. Okay. Yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. What you could say is wasteland. You might be thinking of wasteland. Well, exactly, Rima. We're not going to split into teams and start throwing rocks at each other, OK? <laughs> There's enough of that going on in the world. We don't need to join in. <laughs> you could say wasteland. It is because it's sparsely vegetated. There's that sparse word again. Sparsely vegetated. Okay, with a copse of trees, lots of rocks. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. And in a valley, and it is a valley. It is a valley. What makes it a valley? <laughs> Because it's between, uh, uh, it's a, a surrounded by mountains, or at least two sides of, the, of uh, this place is uh, our mountains that's, or hills. Yeah, that's it. It's not that we're surrounded by mountains. We probably have to think, I don't know of anywhere in the world that's actually surrounded by mountains. Um, and flat like this, but it's it's basically enclosed by mountains as it runs through the mountains. You, I know you do, Traum. <laughs> so, Traum, without giving away geographically exactly where you live, describe your valley. Is it anything like this valley? How would you describe it to somebody who's never seen it, Traum? So, firstly, our the mountains or the hills don't uh, don't uh, are, are or they aren't so narrow. It's a bit wider here, but I can see on the left and on the right side hills or mountains because they are higher. And the valley um, is about when I go by car, it's uh, I, I would say uh, an hour long. I have to go when I go by when I go by car from one end to the other end it will take me one hour. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so it takes uh, an hour to drive hour. from one end to the other, from one end of the valley. Yes. To the other. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's quite a long valley then. Yes, it's 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 yeah, it's it's long, and we have several several um, uh, valleys here in the in the area of Tyrol where I live, and each of them has a different dialect, of course. <laughs> it's awful, and yes, uh, what else could I say? Yes, and when and some people <clears throat> have real or get problems when they. Uh, when they uh, want to live here, because because it's it's so narrow, and when you are used to live in an area where no hills or it's more or less um, straight or without mountains, then it can be very um, it can one someone make very unhappy. It can be quite oppressive, can't it, if you're not used to it, because you can't see very far, and so you feel a bit claustrophobic. And uh, yes, I, I, and also the sun, the sunlight, 
always gets me in a in a real valley because it takes ages for the sun to get over the mountains. <laughs> so basically, a valley is simply ge geographically speaking and geologically speaking a depression in the earth between hills or mountains. Okay. So if you were to look at um, around the world, I, I think in the UK, the most famous valley we have is the Thames Valley. OK, and it's weird because the Thames Valley, if you look at the area um, in Google Maps, for example, it's a huge area. <laughs> and what defines it is the Thames, the River Thames. And it's basically not really a valley because it doesn't look like this, um, but somehow it's got called the Thames Valley. So sometimes the use of the term can be very confusing because it's geographically, not geologically accurate, and it's more to do with the place than the actual um, area and the way it looks, okay? But if you looked at it from far enough away, and you were able to follow the Thames, you then you'd think, oh yeah, it is a valley. It is a valley, but it doesn't look quite like this, okay? Uh, I'm just trying to see if I can find you something from the British Geological Survey. Okay. Ah, here you go. Here you go. This is like um, the, the Thames Valley. And you can see it's not as well defined as this valley. You know, there's no mountains, but there's hills and the river runs through it. And it's called that area is called the Thames Valley. OK. So, again, don't be too literal about, oh, is it a valley? Is it a gorge? Is it a canyon? <laughs> Because valley, gorge, canyon, mm, they can pretty much go, and ravine, they can pretty much be interchangeable quite often. So we had um, in our picture, uh, we had six, which we called the canyon. Okay. Now that canyon, then we had 19, which was a gorge. And I think that probably confused you, April, am I right? Uh, let's see, um, six is canyon, mm -hmm. because it is water uh, between two mountains, uh, two mountains, two mountains, two sides, mountains. And then you say, which one did uh, 19 19 which was the second the um, 19 is gorge yeah what did i yeah. say oh yeah now uh, oh okay i wrote comb, comb. yes <laughs> <laughs> it's like you've been to bristol my love it's like you've been to bristol okay yes there are places that are called combs combs um, and again, this is where you can get caught up in the language, okay? Uh, because Coombe is really um, a little valley, but it's it's geographical term as well, because really you only find Coombes in the southwest of England. There's lots of Coombes around uh, Bristol area. And um, yeah, a Coombe, a valley, yeah? Just a different sort of valley. And people can argue about whether something's a coom or not. But quite often the decision has already been made because somebody will have called an area something coom. OK, I'm just trying to remember uh, my favourite place around because I used to live around Bristol and there's a lovely place that does beautiful Stilton cheese. And I can't remember the name of it. Uh, I'm just trying to find it. Mm hmm. Goblin Coombe, Burrington Coombe, no, 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 Coombe Lodge, I think that's around the area, Castle Coombe, if you just look Coombe, um, if you just look up Coombe in the UK, 
Um, you'll find lots of different places with the name Coombe. So it's, it's, it's a smaller valley, not as big as this one. This wouldn't be a Coombe. This is more of a valley uh, than a Coombe because to me a Coombe is more small, wooded, green. Uh, but maybe that's just been put in my head because when I lived in an area with Coombes, that's what they were all like. Okay. And there's lots and lots of places called Coombe in the UK. Okay. Around Devon, normally the southwest. Um, we've got Boscombe in Dorset. Um, we've got Unstecombe in Wiltshire. Um, Batcombe in Somerset. Castlecombe in Wiltshire. And I'm still trying to remember where makes the lovely, lovely, lovely. Beautiful. Stilton cheese. <laughs> okay. So a coombe is also a valley. Now, could you describe where we are now as a gorge? If you were trying to get the air sea rescue out here, would you say I'm in a gorge? No. Why not? We yeah. are. Um, okay. Um, Rima, you were going to say something. Sorry, Monica, interrupt. Uh, interrupt no, go you. Ahead, go, ahead, go ahead. Go huh? ahead. Go uh, ahead. Uh, maybe it's not. Uh, yes, we are not in the world because we are. In, in the valley, gorge is more like a narrow space between uh, between uh, I think that I don't know. Yeah, I think uh, you've got between, it. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, between two, uh, not two mountains range, but how to say it? Maybe, maybe like very narrow uh, space to. Yeah, yes, this, this is where you can't, don't get caught in the mountains. Okay, now it could be in the mountains. Of course it could. But I can assure you that there's not many mountains in Bristol, <laughs> but lots of combs. So what you've got is what you could say between a, a rock formation. Yeah, rock formations. And a comb and also a gorge and a canyon. Now, Gorge and Canyon, honestly, I was amazed at how much of a slap fest is going on in the um, internet, in the world of the internet about what's a canyon and what's a gorge. It's really funny. <laughs> Normally, what defines a canyon or a gorge is what somebody's already called it. And you'll usually find gorges in the UK and in Europe and canyons in America. It seems to be a sort of geographical divide for what's pretty much the same thing. However, in my head, I get a slightly different picture drawn when somebody says canyon to when somebody says gorge, probably from my canoeing days. Okay, but what we're talking about is the rock formations. So shiny, we're at the bottom of the mountains now, but I wouldn't call this a gorge or a canyon. It's not narrow enough. Rima said narrow and he's right. I think I could climb up out of this valley. Not easily because I'm not very fit. And Monique would be a problem. I think we'd have to carry her on, on her log because she's got a bad back at the moment. So <laughs> might be a bit tough for you, Monique. <laughs> that would be a problem. Maybe they will leave me here. <laughs> we never leave anybody behind. No, 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 no. We're not leaving you. We'll get you out. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll make a stretcher. But uh, uh, you, you can say that for the first uh, maybe two couple of days, but after the three, <laughs> the third day, I don't know. <laughs> That's enough of us. We can take it in turns. <laughs> okay. Some so. will appear in the meantime. Yeah, exactly. We'll find where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> okay. Now. <Yes. laughs> 
when um when you're talking about gorge and canyon and ravines a lot of the decision is how they've eroded now if i say eroded to erode and erosion does everybody know what i mean Erode is more like the, um, like the, oh my gosh, uh, like, how can you describe the, the surroundings? Mm, it's, it's a verb to erode and erosion oh. is, um, May, the action. Maybe like, uh, like, uh, when water is, um, uh, like flood where, where is flooding and that uh, when some kind uh, uh, of uh, stones or rocks uh, spend too much uh, too much time under the water and uh, they start to uh, to separate it to split into uh, little rocks or something like it I, I think it that, that sounds yeah. that pretty good yeah not so much abandoned traum um, but erosion and to erode something, it means it's basically wearing away. Um, now, you mentioned water, Rima. So, yes, water erodes rocks over time. Yeah. What else can be a cause of erosion? What else can cause erosion? The wind. Wind, yeah. Wind causes erosion too. Yeah. Anything that can wear, we cause erosion <laughs> just by walk. I don't know if you've ever walked through um, the woods or the forest and you find tracks where other people and other animals have walked through the wood or the forest. They've actually eroded uh, a path. They've worn it away. Enough feet will erode a mountain over time. And uh, so erosion can also be caused by humans. But wind and water are the two main causes of erosion. So to erode, it can be used idiomatically. You can erode somebody's confidence if you're horrible to them enough. Um, but in this context, it means the, wear, the wearing away um, of rock, soil and land. So this valley yeah, could have been caused by erosion. Maybe there was a river here once, maybe, that eroded the valley. How else could the valley have been formed, do you think? There's erosion. How do we get mountains? Where did mountains come from? <laughs> Your mic's open. Traum. Okay, earthquake, yep. Yeah. Earthquakes can cause rock formations. Normally mountains are more extreme than an earthquake. Earthquakes tend to knock things down. What causes things to rise up? Any ideas? A landslide again would cause something to fall down. A landslide means the land is sliding down. And mountains go up. Mountains, if you think about mountains, they're always measured above sea level. So where did they come from? We were looking at a few two weeks ago in Back to Basics. Traum, your mic's on. Oh, really? <laughs> we can hear you. <laughs> yes, eruption. Well done. Volcanoes erupt. To erupt. To erode. Yeah, to wear it away. To erupt. Yeah, to burst out. Okay. So mountains are often... Um, caused by eruptions in the past. They're dead volcanoes quite often. 
are extinct volcanoes that have erupted over time. Not always. Sometimes they've been caused by an eruption or by um, the land being pushed together, especially mountain ranges. But quite often mountains are also uh, extinct volcanoes. We've got some extinct volcanoes near us. <laughs> it's quite scary. <laughs> And then the rivers come and they erode into a valley. And then people come and they settle in the valley. Yeah, Remember that word, to settle. And they build a settlement. Valleys are uh, nice places to settle because you've got soil. You've got shelter. Uh, but tough guy was saying that it was um, well protected. Why isn't this? Why isn't this a good place strategically to defend? That's it, April. Yes, to live somewhere for a long time to settle there. I've kind of settled in Germany, to be honest. Brexit might be the eruption I need to spew me out of here. <laughs> Did you ask Lynn why it's not good? Uh, place yeah, to... why? Why wouldn't this be a good place to defend? Tough guys um, crashed, but. Um, oh. He did mention that oh, it was yeah. defensible and that it was fortified, but it's not. Why, why yes, it... because someone could, could, someone else uh, could uh, uh, climb up to the to the summit of the of the hill or the mountain and uh, uh, hit you with uh, rocks. So yeah, exactly. Are... Anybody could just start chucking rocks down on us or shooting at us from the hills. You you want to be up. Um, strategically, you want to take the high ground. Yeah, it's a good place to attack. It's it's not a good place to defend, <laughs> unless we fortified it. <laughs> I just had to get that out of the way. It's bugging me. <laughs> okay, so um, this is a valley. Now, quite often there'd be a river or stream throwing flowing through a valley, but there's no river or stream here. Um, so this might have been caused by a glacier. What do I mean by a glacier? I mean, it's it's obviously quite a dry, arid place now. Um, it's not very green. Yeah, a glacier is, well, it doesn't necessarily move, I don't think, but quite often it does. And, of course, when a glacier moves, nothing can stand in its way. <laughs> it's a large mass of ice, okay? And it's basically like a river of ice. I mean, there are glaciers in the world that um, people can walk up to and watch. I, I guess they're sl so slow moving, it looks like they're static. But in the past, in the last ice age, glaciers created many valleys and um, by eroding the mountains and building, leaving behind yeah, enough place for us to shelter, I guess. That's why I mean, the Thames Valley, it's one of the most inhabited um, areas in the world. It's so, so many people live along the Thames Valley. <laughs> But actually, I can't imagine Thames Valley, Lynn, because for me, in my imagination, there is only flat. But as, so if it is a valley, if you call it the Thames Valley, it must be. That's what high, I said. No? Yeah, be careful yeah. about how you imagine these things. Um, geologically speaking, it is a valley, but it's a very wide valley, very wide. So it it looks flat, <laughs> but if you look far enough away from it, then you can see that, uh, you know, you've got the hills and you've got the mountains uh, far enough away to create. I hate, it. I hate it when that happens. OK, so it says it's reconnected. Hopefully it has. OK, so um, whatever. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Shiny, if you could use your camera to follow us, those of you who can um, stand and walk, would you like to follow me? And let's see if we can get out of this valley. 
Let's okay. Go. So, Shiny, if you use your camera to follow us. Camera, how do I use camera? Okay, you just don't move. Don't move just follow us with your um, camera. Just okay. Use it by zooming along with the wheel. Okay. We're going to walk, but um, oh, mind you, Tram looks like she's hopping already. <laughs> Let's see how far. It looks like a long way, doesn't it? <laughs> Have you all yeah. got comfortable shoes on? <laughs> I'm just checking. I'm just checking Monique's feet. Hey, good, Monique. Excellent. Well done. You're wearing uh, the right shoes. <laughs> don't worry, makeup. Yeah. Ooh. It's a very straight road. I can't see you, Lynn. Where are you? I'm along the road from you. Oh, I can't see you around. <laughs> can you see road? Oh my goodness! Can see you. <laughs> we can see you. Can you see the line down the middle? That's that's the road. Yes, I can see Monique, uh, April, and uh, and Traum, but Hello. not you. But not me. <laughs> okay. I'm standing next to Traum. <laughs> oh. Have no. you have you blocked no me? <laughs> uh, Traum's lost a mm. boot. Traum, what have you done with your boot? Why have you only got one shoe on? <laughs> She's going to get oh blisters. Not yet. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm avoid it. Oh, oh dear. On your feet. I'm hoping that um, Shiny's able to follow us with her camera. Uh, the problem with moving in Sims, if, you're, if your um, connection's a bit ropey, is every time you move, it redraws everything around you. So it can put more of a strain on your connection. Okay, so we're coming to a little feature here. What have we got here? It seems the valley seems to be opening out here. Ah, uh, here's the the river. Ah, and what are we standing on now, Monique? Bridge. Bridge. Yeah. So somebody's built a bridge, and. Uh, yeah, it looks like there was. Well, the river's dried. Oh, no, no. I can see bits of the river. Yeah, underneath. And some outlet pipes. So maybe we're not quite as remote as we thought we were. Somebody built the river and there are outlet pipes. And if you look in These the water, distance, so there's good. another valley. So the little valley we settled in isn't the only valley here and that's quite often the case in mountainous regions traum you said there are different valleys and different valleys have different communities this is is this pine forest not enough trees <laughs> <laughs> Truly, <Found> for... <laughs> many trees. you can't yeah. see the wood for the trees, can you? That's another copse. Okay, that's as close as I'd get to giving that number of trees a word. Uh, it would be a copse of trees, just a little group of trees Oops. together. Now, again, maybe Where's once. Maybe once there was forest here. Um, if you've been following our Easter Island sessions, um, April, for example, um, the people. oh, it's the people. Yeah. Okay. So we're not as remote as we what thought we were. Hey, hey you. What's Hello, up? hi. <laughs> nice to see you. Can we have a lift? Are oh, they going the wrong way though? <laughs> okay, so what can you see in the distance down the other valley? A pool. A pool. A pool. A pool. A pool. A pond. A lake, maybe, or a river. Um, what about the buildings? What would you call those yeah, buildings over there? Bridge. A settlement. Yep. It's a settlement. Yay. Well done, April. There's a settlement. I mean, you can see it's just a loose collection of buildings. It doesn't look like a, a town or a city for sure. And I would be pushed, hard pushed to call it a village, I'll be honest, because there's not many buildings there. But somebody 
um, has built a settlement there. Okay. So suddenly we've opened up into two valleys. Uh, and there are more people. Yeah. There are more people. Yeah. And if we look up our valley, there was no river there. But this valley was eroded away by a river. And it seems to be more what I might call a canyon or a gorge. Much more difficult to get out of. In all honesty, if you go canoeing and um, you go canoeing down a canyon or a gorge, once you commit, that's it. You're in there until you come out the other end. <laughs> Although some people I do know have carried a canoe up a gorge, but people have died doing that because they overheat um, and it's not good. So when we're looking at Gorge Canyon, quite often it's geographical. Um, I can't think of any canyons in the UK. I desperately racked my brain and I thought, well, are there any canyons in the UK? So I did a quick Google and yes, there are canyons in the UK. They're all called gorges. <laughs> There's the Cheddar Gorge and the Avon Gorge, um, the two that I've been to. So the Avon Gorge is around Bristol where all the coombs are and the cheddar gorge yes the cheese <laughs> which is often the cheddar gorge is often called the grand canyon of the uk it's a bit of a yeah a bit of a misnomer hey these guys aren't very talkative are they it's a bit of a misnomer to be honest but uh, yeah so probably if you were in the UK, this would be called something gorge. And if you were in the US, it would be called something canyon. Now, both ravines. OK. So we've got ravine, which is from the French word um, for a violent rush of water. We've got canyon, which actually comes from the Spanish word for tube or pipe. And we've got gorge, which comes from a French word um, gorge, which means the throat or neck. Okay, so they are interchangeable quite often. Yeah, is it a ravine? Is it a canyon? Is it a gorge? What's it called? <laughs> I think <laughs> Monique is sitting on a pile of manure. <laughs> are your feet hurting you, Monique? <laughs> <laughs> OK, so we're running out of time. Um, I have got to finish on time today. Any questions so far? We'll lump. <laughs> Monique, what are you doing to that poor horse? <laughs> <laughs> no, no way just to sit on this no, <laughs> horse. No, he's not letting you. He's not letting you. So any questions? Does it give you a better idea of valley, gorge, canyon? And we'll do a little bit more exploring of um, the mountains, the peaks, the summits, etc. next week. Yeah, yeah, because I think we are not on uh, at the bottom. We are not. No, on the not summit. yet. We're not at the summit. We are on. We are on the. We're middle in the valley. We're, of the one? we're in the valley. In the valley. Yeah, I just say we're in the valley. We're not at the bottom of the valley, though. That's further down. We'll go there next week. And we're certainly not at the summit and we haven't reached any peaks yet. OK, but we'll look at some of the dangers of that as well next week. Um, OK. There's always danger. <laughs> but we'll see if these guys can give us a lift down to the settlement and maybe we'll be able to grab a cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Excellent. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the session and uh, I will see you in a bit in um, Google Plus, not Google Absolutely. Plus, Webinar Jam. And we'll carry on with our ice cream and we're going to look at the very luxur the luxury end of the ice cream this week. You're welcome, April. I thought actually being here and looking up and looking down might uh, help you get it in your head. <laughs> The only other thing was I could have we could have all gone round to Traums and she could have taken us round her valley. That yeah, might have yeah. been a bit expensive. <laughs> so it's thank you for sharing everyone. Very clear, yeah, it's very clear. Good. Good. I it can't be too clear because even the people who name these things can't agree on what constitutes 
what geographical element even the geologists you know some people say oh well we'll we'll talk about it next week what can be different about a canyon and a gorge what can be different um, but when even the experts can't agree I think as learners uh, it's really difficult <laughs> still can't see me really okay well you'll have to look at the stream i'm i'm going to right i'm gonna yeah boo <laughs> right behind you <laughs> yeah. it's, it's definitely ghost. Ghost exists. oh my goodness i don't know what's going on there i don't know you've blocked me marco you've blocked me <laughs> No, you are still on my, on my friend member list. Oh, okay, that's all right then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thanks for coming. And uh, as I say, we'll see if we can grab a cup of tea in the settlement next week. <laughs> bye then. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. And bring your swimming suit, uh, Monique, next week. <laughs> 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 we'll see if we can do some swimming. Swimsuit, by the way. Swimsuit is more natural than swimming. Uh, swim yeah, suit. swimsuit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bye then. Bikini. That's all. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if it's warm enough in a valley for bikini. I know. It's... <laughs> do you know? Oh, by the way, did I tell you? It was snowing this morning. Really? It was snowing. Luckily, wow. I had the really good idea because hubby's out tonight. And I said, well, you're out tonight. I'm going to have to walk the dog. Can you walk the dog this morning? And then I can go to the gym. And he said, yeah, sure. <laughs> he was not happy when he got back because I hadn't gone to the gym. And he went, you haven't been to the gym, have you? I went, no, it's snowing. <laughs> I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going to go out when it's snowing. <laughs> so he was walking the dog in the snow and I was nice and tucked up in my duvet. <laughs> Uh, it's snowing in Hokkaido. Oh, what's going on with this crazy weather? Wow. I don't know. Um, it's Well, it, it snows in Hokkaido would just mean it does from time to time. It's snowing in Hokkaido means it is snowing now. It snowed in Hokkaido would mean it snowed today, but it's not snowing at the moment. Yeah. In spring, we do get spring snow, but it's such a rarity that it was quite remarkable. And um, we're having some very weird weather. There was a rainbow yesterday, there was hail yesterday, and there was snow today. So who knows what tomorrow will bring? Sunshine and lollipops. <laughs> Take care then, I've got to go. I'm being distracted. Bye. Bye. Thanks, bye. Bye. You can cam up and round, but imagine, yeah, imagine we are on an expedition and here we are in at our campsite. Um, yeah, we're surrounded by mountains, aren't we? That's very true. How? Oh, maybe this is. Oh. Yeah, carry on. No, carry on, Rima. But I can't see any rivers and streams maybe about the last vocabulary challenge yeah well done released. you're so clever <laughs> 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 okay good stuff yeah it the the vocabulary challenge um not from this week of course from last week uh was about landscape. yeah landscapes and and I thought well it would be okay to do it on Skype or in a webinar with pictures but I thought I'm sure I must have something more interesting in my Sims <laughs> so I went hunting and did a bit of uh, building uh, et voila here we are in yeah what I'd call quite a rich landscape quite varied okay april said uh april what what were you having a problem with with the um, van, with the I, landscape I, challenge yeah? yeah i wrote peak and you wrote summit i wrote summit and you wrote <laughs> peak what are the difference and then canyon and the ridge and the gorge and the comb of something like that so um 
Good afternoon. And now we've got Rima pogoing. Maybe it's a, a feature of this sim. Lots of pogoing. We've got a, sh a floating shiny and a pogoing Rima. And um, Rima, if I can make a suggestion, sit. Find somewhere to sit. <laughs> okay. I don't know what's okay, going on today. It's <laughs> suggestion. <laughs> Just a suggestion. I'm not going to make you do it. I can't make you do it, but I would suggest you sit. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. <laughs> I listen to you. <laughs> We were about to go. Shiny was drifting off down the valley here. So now there's a clue. April, any ideas what we're doing here? Why are we here? It's an expedition. I don't know. For a picnic. Yeah. Well, maybe for a picnic. Oh, hang on. I've got a strange thing turning up here. Uh, maybe for a picnic. Yeah. Um, Traum, you were looking around you. You said we're at the end of a road. An expedition also. And we're going to be. tell stories. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Yes, Traum, carry on. Oh, really? We can see an ocean. So we are uh, so, uh, surrounded by water. Are we? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> okay, imagine you're a person and you can only see what's directly in your line of sight. I know. Um, oh, by the way, I think Kind is going to start doing some um, some sessions in Skype on idioms. So keep an eye open on the on the uh, forum and in the calendar. But anyhow, so to reach the end of the road can be literally. I've reached the end of the road or it can mean we've reached the end you know this is it everything's finished <laughs> okay but in this case i mean it literally we are we're at the end of the road okay um what would you describe this area okay we're in the mountains so the mountains are to either side of us and you can tell they are mountains. They're pretty high. Okay. But um, you won't uh, call it a valley. A valley. Why not? Um, well, why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, Traum, type up valley. If you type valley, let's do a bit of spelling. Okay, has anybody got any other suggestions? Forest. Forest. Yes, okay, but type not it up. Very dense. Mm, mm. Type it up. Type it up. Type up the words you would use if you were sending an SOS <laughs> for somebody to come and rescue you. Tal. No, that's uh, German. Traum. We don't use the word Tal. For example, peak, and I will go to the sun. <laughs> so I will get lost. <laughs> now, there, there are subtleties. Um, I thought what we could do with is we'd start with the second picture, if you can kind of remember that. Uh, which were the numbers four, five, six, and seven. Now, if you didn't take part in the challenge, I can give you the link here. It's vocabulary challenge 58. Oh, hang on a second. Um, let me just close down the extra conversations here because otherwise I'm going to be posting in the wrong bit. Exactly, Traum, Summit, Peak, Gorge. Um, now, I hope you know the difference between um, summit and peak and gorge. You wouldn't climb up to the gorge, would you? Yeah. Um, so let, let's do a geography lesson then. <laughs> I'm not a geography teacher, remember. But we're sitting here at our ca in our campsite with our bonfire. It's a bit remote, but there is a road, so we know we're somewhere. Um, we've reached the end of the road, so to speak. Now, what what does it mean if I say to you, we've reached the end of the road? <laughs> uh, 
dead and buried. <laughs> kind of. I mean, it can, <laughs> it can be literal, as in we have reached the end of the road. There's the end of the road just there. So in that context, this is literal, but sometimes it can be idiomatic. What is the difference between those all uh, names, actually? Well, that's the difference. They're different names. <laughs> But you're right, it's really complicated. I mean, um, often as English learners, you learn the vocabulary that you're presented with and then you learn other vocabulary as and when you need it. And you don't, I'll be honest, I'll put my hand on my heart and say most of you won't need the very specialist vocabulary to do with landscapes unless... You kind of get involved in any kind of um, sport that involves it, maybe, or hobbies, or travelling, and then suddenly it's lands it's um, landscape vocabulary that you suddenly need because you want to ask the way to a particular place, or you want to ask the way to um, an area, or you want to do something particular. You know, you actually want to do something in particular. You want to go climbing. Um, even the skiing things that we did uh, in winter, when we were doing our winter vocabulary, there's a lot of that kind of vocabulary crops up because of the different areas you can go skiing and skating and everything else. So it this is vocabulary you might never need. <laughs> but then one day it might save your life. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm exaggerating said, I, a little bit. We will get less. Uh, I will get less because <laughs> if uh, on the on the uh, travel information.